Valentine's Day is going to be the heaviest of stuff. I'm expecting orange to red pockets on Monday. That's going to be the worst of your commutes. The good thing about today is we have a heavy burst of rain, but it moves out fairly quickly. The bad thing about it, if we were going to have a heavy burst of rain, we should have had it in the middle of the night last night, not in the middle of your morning commute when so many people are venturing onto our roadways. So the timing of this is no good whatsoever. Our Friday morning commute is going to be a really, really rough one. You've heard Camila, you've heard Sarah talking about it. They've been driving around in it. If you're still in the house, which is highly likely if you're watching right now, know that you're going to be venturing out in some less than favorable conditions. So make sure to give yourselves that extra time this morning. Please take it slow. Rain is going to keep you updated on all the traffic issues we have coming up in just a moment. But as Daria noted, we have plenty of those yellow pockets popping up here on radar right now, and it is wide coverage too. You're right on the cusp of it in San Jose, the peninsula, as well as the East Bay and almost the entirety of the North Bay, seeing some heavier stuff. We're going to start in the core of the bay right here. A lot of our traveled bridges like the Bay Bridge, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, as well as the Golden Gate Bridge are in the midst of some pretty heavy rainfall. It's quite a just a touch at the Golden Gate Bridge compared to where you were earlier. Areas like 24 above Oakland in the midst of some very heavy rainfall as are right around Oakland's airport too. Now a little bit further southward, these pockets of yellow right along 280 are about to descend further and further to the north and east up into San Mateo and Palo Alto. In the process of doing so, you're going to see some even more water ponding up on roadways like 101, which is a little bit flatter. 280 typically tends to drain a little bit better than 101 does. You have that potential of ponding a little bit worse along that 101 stretch. 92 as well as the Dumbarton Bridge also in the midst of some moderate showers. Heavier rainfall still sitting in the Santa Cruz Mountains about to be working its way your direction. Across the South Bay and the East Bay, Fremont on up to Hayward. Moderate rainfall for the most part. I noted Oakland. You see that pocket of heavier rain along 24 right here. This is going to make its way to the north and east gradually. Going to impact areas like Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill within the next 10 to 15 minutes and as that happens you're just going to see an increase in your rainfall intensity as these showers gradually steer their way right along 24 closer to Lafayette and eventually closer to Walnut Creek working your way on up towards Bay Point Pittsburgh and Antioch by the time we reach the end of the 530 uh, around 530 uh, Napa down through Vallejo pocket of heavy rain centered right above American Canyon right now Santa Rosa also about to see rainfall intensity increasing along 101 between you and Cloverdale so it is quite the active morning lots to talk about on radar for sure this cold frontal boundary is currently what's resulting in this burst of rain. So we went from what was a dry evening last night. Now to the surge of rain just pushing right across the Bay Area. It's only temporary, though. It's going to last through your morning commute. Pockets of heavy rain will continue through your 8 to 9 a.m. hours. After that, though, look how quickly it starts to move out. And skies will actually clear out really nicely. This is going to give a chance for some of that rain to soak into the ground for the rest of the day today. That's the big plus about today, at least we have a dry period ahead once this rain pushes out. It's going to be especially heavy for the Central Valley and the Sierra foothills. Snow is really going to start to stack up now into the Sierra Nevada. Now that we've had this cold front pushing through, temperatures are cold enough for snowfall to become more and more of a thing. On into tomorrow morning, dry to start, but come tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see some spotty showers, mostly in the North Bay during the morning, but drifting into the rest of the Bay Area come the afternoon. Then comes Sunday and the heaviest of rain starts. This is going to be the push that really could cause some problems for us because it's not just Sunday, but as the atmospheric river takes up shop across the region, it's going to result in extended heavy rain from Sunday into Monday. So whereas this morning it's a burst of heavy rainfall, Sunday into Monday it's going to be hours upon hours of some really rainy conditions. That's where saturation is going to happen, and that's where we're going to start to see some issues with ponding of water, flooding in small streams, as well as issues around your burn scars too. Future cast of rainfall totals really start to show those totals skyrocketing into the beginning of next week. Santa Rosa could approach seven inches of rainfall. Oakland, Hayward, San Francisco, well above three inches. This is already on top of what we've already seen. The Sierra Nevada, one to three feet of it once you head above 8,000 feet in elevation. Winter storm watches taking effect Sunday evening and lasting into Monday evening. Today's daytime highs in the 60s across the Bay Area. It is going to be a cooler one than yesterday, and we stay cool all the way through this forecast, too. Today, morning rainfall. We dry in the afternoon. Showers again move in tomorrow night and then Sunday into Monday the very heaviest of rainfall and likely our most problematic days. If you can do a work from home day on Monday, I'd highly recommend it.